Catachinos, welcome to my 50, 50,000 subscriber special video. Um, by the way, heads up, this video isn't going to be ASMR, it's just going to be me talking, being casual, so just a heads up. Um, this video is going to be about appreciating you guys and celebrating you guys, so yeah, let's just get straight into it, okay? Um, so, first off, I just want to say that I was actually planning on buying a whole cake for this video because I wanted it to be more flashy, I wanted it to feel more special, you know, I actually feel like I'm celebrating something. I am celebrating something, but you know what I mean? But I apologize, I have genuinely been so, so busy these days that I had no time to buy a cake at all. Um, so, you know, I, I, I drew a fake cake. Um, you know, you know what? I have some props with me. So, here you go. <laughs> I have these treats um, to celebrate my 50,000 um, subscribers. So, yeah, here you go. You're just gonna take this and eat it while I just ramble on and on about how I appreciate you guys. So, yeah, here we go. Um, First off, uh, I just want to say, I think I said this like three times now, but yeah, I'm just going to say that um, I am so, so proud of my community. This video is not just about me like celebrating 50,000 people, it's celebrating you. Um, it's celebrating the community that was made, um, just the most amazing, the most kind, the kindest the most sympathetic and the most caring people on earth somehow found each other, somehow found me, and became a community. And I've seen a lot of communities on YouTube, I've seen a lot of fan bases on YouTube, but I can confidently say that I feel like my Catachinos are the most, the best, the best out there, honestly. Like, I see how you guys help each other out in the comments. I see how you guys appreciate me, appreciate each other in the comments, and it is honestly such a beautiful thing. Like, never in my life did I think that I would reach 50,000 on YouTube, but also I never thought that I would find such amazing people on the internet and somehow make a community. It's honestly such a blessing and I don't know what I did to deserve this um, you guys really really changed my life in so much like so much better like I know you guys are always saying like oh Rose um, you helped me out with this video like your videos really helped me out with this and that but I want you guys to know that you guys do the same for me like so much for me um, hold on I feel a little embarrassed because like my lips are bare as hell so you know what I'm gonna be putting on some lipstick that's dark as hell okay so let me get back okay so um, you guys are always telling me how I'm helping out you guys um, how my videos affect you guys but you guys gotta know you guys affect me the exact same way even more because when I um, in my YouTube starting days uh, I was actually in a very committed relationship with someone that I really loved very very loved and um, as I was on my YouTube journey I broke up with them and that was the most hardest time in my life like i've been through a lot of stuff i've been through depression i've been through a shit ton but honestly that breakup really really took a toll on me because this was my first love honestly and it took me a while to get better from that i lost a lot of people on my journey on youtube i lost a lot of people on the way not because something big happened, but they just kind of left and it was such a hard, hard time for me. I contemplated on changing myself because I felt like I cared too much about people. I felt like I... I felt like I was being just too caring and loving to people who didn't think the same for me at all and 
who didn't care for me at all. I thought that I was the problem. So that was like a very big thing for me. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to change. It's not something wrong with them, it's something wrong with me. But doing YouTube and getting comments from people all around the world, the best people, it really proved to me that I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just showing it to the wrong people. You know what I mean? Like, if you feel like um, you being caring, too caring is a problem, trust me, baby, it is not. It is not a problem. You're just showing it to the wrong people. And I don't blame you because I do, I do that all the time. Even now. I do that all the time even now. But I don't regret it because that's just who I am. That's just how I am built and I am grateful that I am built that way because not a lot of people in this world are capable of showing that much love sometimes you just gotta know that you're like a good person you're just a good person you know okay so that was me being bad but doing youtube and finding you guys really changed how i view myself how i view things that happened in my life i've just become such a like a much better person so so grateful like i'm saying all the things that i said in my 10,000 subscriber video but i honestly mean this i mean every word of it you guys changed my life as much as i may have changed yours and i am forever forever grateful really i am um and uh, i don't think i really come on here and update you guys on how i am doing and what's going on in my life but here i am to make this video so uh if i'm being honest i haven't been doing very well i haven't um i've been going through to sorry so back to how i'm doing okay sorry so uh not doing very well i have been going through a lot of depressive episodes lately I have lost motivation for pretty much living. Um, trigger warning if this triggers anyone, but I'm gonna be talking about some dark stuff. Uh, I've been losing motivation in just doing day-to-day -day things. Going to school is really draining for me, it's very exhausting. Just waking up in the morning, it's really hard. Um, going to academy that I go to because of music and I'm going and preparing to go to music college exhausting just I'm pretty much drained out I'm very exhausted and I have lost motivation for almost everything that I do um, I lost motivation for making music I've lost motivation for being a decent person <laughs> um, making videos Trust me, I love making videos for you guys. Making videos is honestly such a joy for me. It's really fun. Um, I love seeing how my videos and something small that I can do can help you guys in feeling better. You know what I mean? It's a joy for me right now, and it always has been. It always will be. But just right now, I have been going through just a phase of my life where so much motivation I feel lonely all the time no matter how many people are around me and it's honestly very hard to come out with new good ideas for videos because I want to make like very good videos for you guys because I care about you but it's honestly very hard as a creator to do that all the time um, even if I buy props sometimes I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them I click record on my camera and lately I've been finding myself being able to do nothing coming being able to come up with nothing and that has been really hard on me because i think that i'm filled with creativity and i honestly do think that even right now but lately it's been very hard that's why this video is like really bland i hope you guys don't feel like it is bland but it, it is really bland for me and i really want to do better i want to get better I'm thinking about going to get counseling or going to my like therapist again um, because I genuinely do feel like things aren't getting bad for me and I need help. <laughs> um, 
I'm always out here making videos on like mental health and stuff like that, but in, reali in reality, my mental health is very bad as well. <laughs> it's always been pretty bad. It got better, but it gets bad again. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know why. I guess it's just me trying to tell you guys that sometimes no it's okay to lose motivation not just sometimes it's just generally okay to lose motivation and not be able to do things at times because you can be in your best state one day but the next you can be in your absolute worst state and it's okay to not be able to get things done it's okay to not be able to be creative for once it's okay to not be able to find motivation in things that you should it's fine because like you can't be perfect every day. You can't be in that mind, that good mindset every day. Some days you're just gonna break down and that's okay. That's fine. Me as a creator on YouTube, I lose motivation sometimes. I lose inspiration. I run out of things that I can make. And I think that's okay. I mean, honestly, it feels like shit because I love doing this, but for right now, I'm pretty lost in my life, and I'm trying to get better, so this turned out to be a very weird video, but I just wanted to thank every one of you guys for being here and for actually being... Being like a very big reason for me trying again. Like you guys motivate me, you know what I mean? You guys just existing right now is motivation for me to keep on trying. And I have like 50,000 reasons to try again, you know what I mean? I have 50,000 reasons to stay. So yeah, I wanted to thank you guys. Um, I wanted to celebrate you. Yeah, this was like a very weird video, just me rambling, but it's very personal and I just wanted you guys to know how I'm doing, um, how I go through these things as well, and you're not alone at all, and that we will get through this together. So yeah, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching me again, and I love you, thank you so much for getting me to 50,000. Um, I really hope our community grows because it is honestly such a beautiful community and if you're new here welcome 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 to my channel welcome to the community um i really hope you feel safe here so goodbye